Hello and welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Okay, so we still have a lot more to discuss. Don't go anywhere. I hope you have your tea and that you are just, you're not feeling too Tuesday. Are you feeling Tuesday? Tuesday, darling. Sorry. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it Wednesday. Like, I feel like... Yes, when, I feel Wednesday. It's yeah. midweek and the week is almost over, so yeah. Uh, that's, uh, I, feel the, I feel Wednesday is very confusing. Like, I feel like... Is this week going fast or like can we get this to Thursday really quickly? Very fast you think um, so? Yeah, maybe because I've had a lot to do this mm. week and I still have a lot planned for the week. So mm. it's more like, is there even enough time to yeah, do all of yeah, these things? Yeah. yeah. So. I think because my phone crashed, I was away from civilization. And you'd be very surprised how much like the noise stops because there's not a lot of things mm. going on. So I feel like I haven't started like my week here because a lot of things were, were pushed away. But anyway, let's I'm going to our next conversation of the day, and that's our favorite celebrity. Uh, let's Who's go. favorite celebrity? Huh? Who's favorite? Who's your favorite celebrity? I don't have one. Uh, no, favorite celebrity couple in Nigeria. In Nigeria? None. Oh, Uncle Olu Jacobs and, uh, and, uh, yes, and yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, our favorite, your, your favorite celebrity couple, Banky W, and his wife, Adesua Itomi, had a session at their church, their Waterbrook Church in Kui. That sounds like a British church, like crazy anyway where they spoke about their struggles with conception and the miraculous arrival of their baby boy their session was a special Easter service at the church which happened on my birthday Sunday April 4 of 2021 a video of the session has been shared on YouTube and some of the things they revealed about their struggles have since gone viral the couple revealed a lot in that almost an hour session and with his art and, and with this conversation you see that I'm gonna break everything down to you so they basically started from um, touched on things like getting trolled on social media for not having a child then they went through the IVF process then they got twins and lost those twins then they decided no more IVFs then they also talked about Banky selling his car to fund a church project then Adesu also talked about the hallelujah challenge that really got her really just spiritually and f I guess her faith really revived and then finally the marathon sex that they had to do to conceive the baby boy so yeah it was a, a, a nice uh, tell all Oprah vibes mm -hmm. type um, conversation uh, but what did you think about that Ife? I just think um, I like it when people show their um, vulnerability and they're able to share their story to encourage because one would have thought man the Banky W and Adesua they have it all together you know you see them and you're like oh our favorite couple but the things they go through and especially with the advent of the you know so, with, of social media and what people tend to say because you'll be you'll be surprised at the amount of hate that comes from on there and um, especially when they don't know your story mm. when they just feel like they have an opinion now imagine an Adesua that just lost the baby maybe a night before mm. that just lost the twins a night before and then she says okay tell her chair up life goes on and then she goes on the internet and somebody just says barren woman you won't mm. you give birth you can imagine the type of pain she would feel it would it would really hurt exactly even though she doesn't know who it is but she's still human she, no, she's actually still trying to heal. Yeah. And there's someone else is saying something else that you don't even know what's going on. It could make you go crazy. So I just want to say a big shout out to the both of them for still being able to keep their cool, for not want, um, coming out on the internet to have an outburst for once because they're human. They're allowed to. Do you understand? They could have their outburst. And I like the fact that, um, you know, faith is actually something that kept them together because you know when uh, Banky W was selling his car and we're saying that oh he said he was going to make it a monument for day and we're saying oh some people said oh he's broke he's mm. this ah that he's about on the selling cars mm. he wants to do do you understand oh they know he wasn't even his broke they said oh politics has drained him you know mm. he tried to run yeah through. which oh, is probably yeah that, no they said it out there that he, they he, he used this car, he sold this car For so that he could projects. finance a church project. Yeah, yeah, but like, in fact, you don't have money to finance a church project without selling your car. Still, sure that there was financial struggles. No, sometimes fate just says, you might have that money in your account, but fate just says, okay, sell something that is important to you. Uh, I don't know about that. Do you understand? That, and sure. then what makes you think that, okay, the money he has is actually enough for the church project? So you might have enough money, but it needs a little more for that church and project. And so you don't have enough, Ife. 
<laughs> you don't have enough. If you can't afford, if you, it, well, I don't know. Broke is relative, though. It is relative. Mm. I don't know what you refer to as broke, but I don't think it would ever be that bad for a banky W. I don't think it can ever be that. Even if you're talking about just royalties alone from whiskey songs and stuff. Come on, but it's cash. Money out. finishes, though. But I, I feel like if something it's not, is. There, there's some monies that don't finish. Now, I'm saying banky W has placed himself in a position if, yeah, but if where you, the if money you don't, cannot if finish. If you have to sell your car, to fund something, then you it's don't have enough money. Car. Now, the things Still, that are called liabilities, you just figure that, okay, I have two very lovely functioning cars. I have a third one I'm not using. Instead of using all the money in my account for a church, I think sometimes it's just faith. If you believe in what faith is, you know that um, sometimes you just have to go the extra mile to just make sure it to works. To sell your car. It's the same thing. I'm not going to talk sell about your car I, I, or I really like don't put, care give, give if the it money. Broke. That is none of my business. Now, I'm talking about the faith. That my, the story I'm taking from all of this is not where the Banky W was broke. That's none of my business. But what did they turn out good for him? That's all I care about. Yeah, the one I, could go, yeah, the one I could go brought this up. He said and people were talking about people, him being uh, broke. And, and, and I wasn't going to buttress on it, but I'm, I don't know. But it don't matter whether it was broke. Me, I'm seeing it from a faith perspective and that's from the point of view I want to take it from. Okay, either ways, it was nice that they gave a very descriptive um, view on their life. I always say this, I said, I said the same thing about Meghan and Marco, that these people don't owe us that. Mm. I mean, especially when, you know, there's a lot of controversy and there's a lot of um, um, theories around your relationship mm. and all of that. Nobody still owes, like even me, I don't think, I, I don't know, I, it's easy for me to say, but I, I don't see myself like, I won't care if I think what you want to think. I know people think a lot about me and have all these perceptions and stuff. So every time I see people come out and take their time to really um, tell the truth, I find that, re like, I find that big. Like, it's really mm -hmm. big of you to even, because we don't owe you anything. Mm -hmm. So for you to just set this story straight, and I like that they did it in the way that was comfortable for them, which mm -hmm. was in church, because in church, yeah. obviously these people are faith-based, and that is something that's big for them. I know IVFs are also really expensive, so that I, I know that, that that must have been quite a tough time, not just emotionally and mentally, but also financially, because mm -hmm. VFS is not, VFS, um, IVF rather, is not a joke. Mm -hmm. But either ways, they pull through, and I think that is like the gist of it, that they have a, they have a family now as in like a like a growing family in terms mm. of like bringing a child to the world that's something that people have still not been able to do and i like that she she now has um how do i explain she now she's now part of a group that can really speak to that to those kinds of people mm. that struggle with that i mean i can encourage a woman who's never had a child that wants to have a child as much as i can but i've never been in that position mm. i've never worked in that so for somebody that has that kind of influence to also not be blessed to have worked yeah. in that i think that that she can be used in a good way for in in in, in that sense in, you know in terms of encouraging them even giving them tips on what could help in terms because i know they talked about the marathon sex thing although it was proper banter like it's awkward obviously talking about your sex life but even that um that tip alone was quite important like that you know they were careful about the ovulation period and then mm -hmm. they did it for as long as they could to obviously you know get that stuff going but i'm glad i'm really just glad that everybody's happy the wife yeah. and the man is happy and that they have a baby together I, it, this is one couple that have literally started in front of us from when he said he found somebody to when he was dating her, to when they finally got married, and now they have a baby. Like, it's all happening in the public space. And I think they've done a good job for being a public figure, a public family. Like, that, that's, that's not easy. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm cheering for them. Absolutely. But let's go on a quick break. Let me leave you with Banky W's um, final song, um, um, Finally Say Yes. Uh, final, say. final Say, rather. So, I hope you enjoy it. We'll be right back.